and now sets the screen. Jones will pull up. That's a two. You can see that everything's going to sag off him. The strength of Sanford last year, forcing turnovers. They forced about 15 a game. Smith, what a smooth stroke he has. Pull the pass, sets up Heidi on the feed from Jones. And Edie's had to come back in, and it's a slightly worrying sign that that happens without him. Edie puts it up and draws the foul. He'll shoot free throws. A better job there from Moorhead to pick up those defensive rebounds. Eight rebounds for Zach Edie. He's nearing a double double. And straight away, Jones charging in there. Happy to lay that one up. The minutes are just going to keep going up, but for now, those rebounds are where he's going to make his money. It's hard to top nine threes in a single game. Great steal there by Jones, and Smith brings it down. And the alley -oop does fall. And great chemistry there. Once again, it's Jones leading that charge as he holds the ball here. And he's going to take a deep shot, and that falls. And gets this place up on its feet. I mean, the electricity that he brings. And here comes the three, sets himself, and no doubts with that one. We talked about how this... Which is rare for him, at least early on this season, as Xavier makes a couple of changes. Trey Green is on an instant score. He turns it over immediately, and Purdue come in the other direction. On the lob and the stop, and that was nasty. Camden Heidi, who can really jump. Creates a mismatch and an opportunity for Purdue to run, and Heidi... Lost the basketball. Jones ahead of the fray, dropping it off. Heidi off the spin. And just when again, Purdue starts to pull away, Xavier figures out a way to get all beautiful. Uh -oh. Duck. <laughs> well, Purdue feeding off the energy of this crowd, and Zach Eady feeding <laughs> off the pass inside from Lance Jones. Nothing you can do about this when Big Fella is in the lane. Any mistake that's here now, it's just not going to be there in February. Well, that's the plan. Edie down low. Why not get out the laminator one more time? Nemhard from the free throw line follows up his own miss, but it comes to Jones again, a two on one. And again, Jones will finish. It's a one point game. Edie was. Trying to shield off the defender, but Lance Jones, the transfer from Southern Illinois, just went right into the body of EK. And able that's a great look. And that's a sweet reverse for Jones. Outstanding transition offense for Purdue. Position. Whenever there is conversion after a rebound, after a turnover. If you watch Tennessee, you know they can really guard. They were number one in the country for Ken Palm and adjusted defensive efficiency a year ago. Fletcher Lawyer with a three. Well, their health defense has been excellent. Jones for three. And boy, did they get a big shot there. That extends the lead to eight. Well, this is just a great individual move. A little crossover, step back. It switches by Tennessee. Hey, Jones into Edie for the slam. Boy, what a fake by Lance Jones. Boy, hard screen there by first. Norman back to his feet. First the kick. Morton the extra pass. Everybody gets a touch. And Smith knocks down the three. How pretty is that? When Marquette converges on the ball, it's kicked out. And Marquette trying to recover and still got there to put late pressure on the shot. Bullock makes them both. Two and a half seconds. It goes! It goes! Unbelievable shot for Lance Jones. Diagram up a beauty there. That's U.S. Reed back in the day. Didn't even need the glass. Matt Painter's got to crack a smile after that. He's with Angel. Despite Marquette's pesky defense, you guys are shooting over 75% from three, including that last one. I mean, that's pretty nice.
really is. I mean, we were very fortunate. Oso got into foul trouble right away, and then we had a, a, a size advantage. And we just got to be patient there. And if they're going to give us open shots because they got to overdo it in the paint, we got to be able to take them in rhythm, but also not force them. You know, don't take contested shots early in the clock right there when we got the matchup. Edie had your last 11 points. What was different about his touches late in the second? Well, just the size. Obviously, they have a lot of quickness, athleticism. Right as they got into a little bit of foul trouble, I think that was the difference right there. Just taking care of the basketball and getting good shots and letting him establish position. Thanks so much, Coach. All right, thank you. And what a way to end the first half. Lance Jones inbounding it with just a couple of seconds left. Knew he didn't have much time at all. One dribble and up it goes. And wouldn't you know, unbelievable shot. And here comes Braden Smith, the second year point guard. Gives out to Jones in the corner for three. Just the way Smith pushes the pace, but never seems out of control, Robbie. There it is again. I mean, passing on a good shot to get a great shot there in the pick and roll. And because Texas Southern, that's been Ethan Morton's role. He's only taken four shots on the season, but when he's been in there. He gives you great effort defensively. There's Lance Jones once again. But so far, every shot he's taken has been contested. Smith, turn of the corner. Wide open is Jones. Set three, splash that one down, and a timeout. Jones, baseline drive, challenged underneath, but it wow. still falls. Blake Preston was right there. What a start for Purdue. Defensive play, inbound, oh, wow. off the back of Sanford. What a heads up play. Peyton Sanford watching the floor, and Lance Jones just threw it right off his back. Heads up play. Everything continuing to go right. Peyton Sanford watching the action on the floor, and Lance Jones heads up. <laughs> Absolutely loving it. Here's Edie inside to the rim with one hand. Well, we talked about it earlier. Who that outfit is going to be? We know who it is for Purdue. Iowa was still looking for that score. Lance Jones gives them a, a second ball handler. I say that with him right now. He's the primary ball handler. But you put him out there with Braden Smith. You've got two guys that you feel good about handling. But so far, so good. Two catch and shoot threes. Two nothing but the bottom of the net. There's a three for Lance Jones. And a foul! He does not discriminate on the distance of some of his shots. He's out there at the logo. And just that little ball fake from Trey Kaufman Wren. They are selling out on Edie. Rebound Lance Jones and Purdue can tie with a three. We might hit triple digits in this ball game. Jones and Edie! But now Bama with numbers. Oh, the deflection that time taken by Morton at the end line. Up ahead, Jones! Outstanding rebounding team. The rebounding margin among the top of the country. In fact, Arizona is number one in that category as Jones floats it up and in. Boy, great slip right there, though, by Fletcher Lord. Jones, extra. Slow it down. Edie working on Balo again. Drop step and finish. Well, you can tell Balo is trying to take away that left shoulder. Just, he's a big time player. Kaufman Rent leaves it inside. Edie against Balo for two. But look at how deep he's got it. Lawyer will inbound. Get it in for Smith. Right back to Lawyer, and they break that pressure immediately. Jones on the take and finish. Plus one. You can tell Lance Jones just loves being the Boilermaker. He's falling in love with it. Bray into traffic, Smith away with it. And the guy that loves being a Boilermaker, up ahead for the dunk. Purdue turning defense into offense. Brandon Smith getting a steal. Lance Jones getting out and running. Go hang on that rim, young fella. He's a workhorse. This is a, didn't just happen. Where did Lance Jones come from? Ooh. Points-wise, when we get into Big Ten play for Purdue. I think Purdue could be up in the 70s and the 80s. Oh, oh, Heidi. Dolphins, Heidi twice in short time. Throwing it up to the young fella, has the, has the confidence. Guess who? It's Gillis winning it back for the Boilermakers. And then Jones.
Jones pays it off with a tough runner in the lane. Does a great job of getting it back and just killing your man. Lance Jones gets his game. And then steals it away from Comer. Jones. Oh, hop step to the basket and he forces a timeout by A.W. Hamilton. How hard he gets to his pull up and then Lance Jones just reaching in his bag like he's reaching for fries at the bottom of it. And that's what Marino does. Six threes for, against Alabama, made 10 in his last two. He's gonna knock him down. It's gonna be one or the other in my opinion. I don't think both of them get in. Jones skips it to Smith. That's a three. I truly believe so. Lance Jones does a great job of saving a broken play, and Braden Smith comes in with his hands up. You expect that to fall later in the game if he gets to those kind of looks. They're one for 12. Meanwhile, third dunk for Edie as Purdue has made just over half their shots. With one, two, three slam dunks, there's his most recent, and Purdue is in control early. Mason Gillis finds it back out to Jones. What a look! And that'll be goaltending against Reese. That is picture perfect basketball. You see, they try to get the high low there. The double comes. Jamie Kaiser, the freshman, is lost. And Mason Gill is doing a good job of. And there's Braden Smith taking it inside. Contact, no whistle. That ball never hit the rim. But they still got a three out of it. Lance Jones just before the horn sounded. You said it, both of these teams active on the glass. Wow. There you go again. And finally, Jones, a third time's a charm. That would be an all-time help, man. Coppenren missed it. There's Edie, though. Sat the final eight minutes with those two fouls, already making an impact. And what a night Kaufman Rin is having, 14 points. It just, it feels like Illinois is playing four on five in the half court right now with Ty Rogers being guarded by Edie. And Jones with a tough finish down the lane. And Rob Riley overruled him. Jones on the drive. Jones, good hard take. And I think Purdue's gonna have to see some of that as well. It's just trying to be physical, but he got away with one there. Gillis thought about a three. One more pass over to Jones, and Jones buries it. Lance Jones playing with so much confidence. Transition, that little Euro step getting to the other side of the rim, even with Zach Eady looming. Jones wants a three. Who was not shooting the basketball terrifically in that first half, second half, when they returned to form, and that's exactly what it's been. Hit their last five field goal attempts, and four of those have been threes. There's Colvin, and he answers. And he has a lot of ability offensively. Off the air ball, Boilers on the run. Off this miss, it's just off to the races once again. We've seen it all day today. Braden Smith is looking to move that ball up the floor with the pass. Lance Jones electric in transition all year. Oh, I think it was some sort of a at world, one point world it, affairs it looked or like they were kind of talking about how many points each had scored. That's, that's what that's my guess, but I, I don't know for sure. Edie throws down the dunk. At this point, and Zach Hicks is certainly on that list as he comes up with a block on Kanye Clary. Look at the push here. In transition, Jones. Lance Jones gives this Purdue team something that they did not have last year in the ability to get out in the open floor. I mean, that was a blur. Takes the contact all the way to the rim. Penn State just never stopping the basketball, and Lance Jones getting all the way. Smith the other way. Lawyer running with him. Swing it. Jones, corner, hesitates, and hits. What a run by Lance Jones right there in transition. He is electric. See just how Khalil Ware gets knocked back. Now a turnover, and Purdue bringing it. Jones, aggressive, hop step, and float. Probes nearly had it taken away. Kick it, gun, playing with his food. Oh, oh he gets play. on the floor. With 33 points and 14 rebounds, and the Boilermakers all out in control. I mean, this is 7 4 getting on the floor, and Lance Jones, Mackenzie and Baco coming, does not matter. Zach Eady loving it. Whenever Iowa brought their full court pressure, they, they weren't just breaking it to get it across, they, they were breaking it to score. 
to do would win that game handily. And now it's a 10-0 run for the Boilers. That was Lance Jones. One of the more difficult passes to throw in there. Here's Lance Jones with that press. Purdue not getting into their offense until 17 or 18 on the clock. And now it's just time for players to make plays. It's a big one there by Jones. That ball was deflected and taken away. Josh Dix. What a recovery by Lance Jones. He, he should have given that up. Edie wants it. Here comes the double. Shot clock at two. Jones got to put it up. Huge three for Lance Jones. Massive shot here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. That double's coming. Shot clock is winding down, but he understands fully he's got enough time to show the ball. Double immediately. Swing, swing. Jones, extra lawyer, corner, three ball. Money. Fletcher Lawyer is just riding the heater, 53% from three. Smith cuts him off, Burnett forces it up short, and there's Smith with another board. Smith, Jones, the trailer, no hesitation. For the three. Well, he's a killer in transition. There's two early fouls, forced the bench. So we'll see if their current leading score available, and Jones takes the way in the backcourt to be a foul on the well end. Coming off that ball screen, drop coverage, doesn't take it too deep, and stops and pops. Wow, how about that? A pilfer from Lance Jones, leaves it, and the trailer, Caleb first. Really good decision there, and here, while the SIU transfer, Lance Jones gives Purdue something that they didn't have, which is a... He's so good passing out of the post. Jones unable to hit, and it's pulled down by Andre Hunt. Another steal. Another steal by Jones. Will check in. Yeah, when you're playing against a guy like Lance Jones, you've got to know as the inbounder where he is on the floor. You can't. A real grind. Two games against Illinois already. You look at their schedule on the back half of those those last ten, and there's a real opportunity for Northwestern. Oh, Lance Jones. But it's strong on the three from Barnheiser. Smith looking to push ahead to Jones to the rim for two. He's just been tremendous in the last month. Jones, the split. And the finish. You're hedging that ball screen. You have got to stay connected. Surprising to see that big number here in the first half. Barnheiser, second time he's slipped, and Jones ends up with a loose ball to the other end for an easy two. You're absolutely right. We've seen Barnheiser just kind of lose his footing. Maybe Chris Collins hasn't liked, but they are just stepping up end the clock and making a play. Back to Edie. There's the trap from Martinelli. Return to Jones for three. Rattles home. We're tied at 66. Uh, Kevin. I was sitting with Taylor Battle earlier, and we we're talking about the... It's one of the smaller guards on the floor that makes the play. Edie has the trap. Back to Jones. Got the open look. Same result. That's like the same exact play. Matt Painter has said it to me before and others. Lance Jones was the kind of player he wanted. Jones for three. What a shot. Boy, what a pass there. Braden Smith feeling that once again. They're taking away the roll. But just a direct look would have given it to Edie. Jones steps into it. Bottom back. A three. What does he get organized quickly? Trying to go through Ren early here. 36-34. Jones tosses it up. Gets it to go. And the harm. Tough and some strength. Nobody's sticking the hand in there. A little bit late by Chucky Hepburn. So it will be Jones going to the free throw line where he shoots it at 75%. Hepburn picks up his second. Nice well cut in. by Smith. So smart. Or prepared whatsoever on that baseline out of bounds. 13 now for Braden Smith. A Sejan deep one. Off the rim. Look who's yeah. there. The offensive board. Wall knocked away. Smith gets a piece on it's a turnover. Jones rushing ahead. Jones takes it in for two. Stretch. Do you think this kid likes playing on the road? Chesty, tough-minded. And right here in the open floor because of that turnover. It's just an amazing. Lawyer gets it in. Ahead. ED slams it down. One way of closing the door. Go over the top and attack. Well, that ED in his presence forces teams subconsciously to shoot a lot of jump shots, man, instead of attacking the paint. I get it. Jones. 
Regardless of what Minnesota does tonight defensively on Zach Eady, they're going to have to close down possessions. 14 offensive rebounds against Iowa. Not going to be good enough. You've got to limit Purdue to one shot every time. Lawyer inside, takes the contact, and scores it. Up ahead, Jones, he can let it fly, got it. And he loves that transition look. Lance Jones just one of six from three against Indiana. He just flew in, but he couldn't finish it. Now, Jones on the leak out. Roddy Gale on the baseline, off the side of the backboard, no good. Big decision by Matt Painter just then to come out and double teams for it twice. Here's Jones, his three is good. Variations of getting Edie the basketball. There's the extra help, Jones. He's been cool today. Not right now, though. They're on the doorstep and chipping into this lead, yes. more importantly for Purdue as a yeah. team. Shot clock at five. At Minnesota, the three prior to that, six of 25 from the field, had 19 points and a more efficient six of 14. Oh, boy, three. For, uh, six for nine from three. And six for six from two, but the three. That will obviously be a story. Zach Eady creates foul trouble when he walks on the floor. Oh, Jones, little discard, and a splash down. Jones. Got it. This does not look When he gets that kind of position, there is no stopping the reigning college player of the year. He got stopped immediately, and then this is, you know, you got to put more pressure on Jones than that, and there's just nobody inside. The number two three-point shooting team in college basketball, only one of six from distance. Smith, three, no. Rebound, Jones! Oh, he came out of the rafters! Michigan is shooting 49% from the floor with seven threes. Smith on the run, floater on the fly. Claimed inside by Smith. Outside, Jones, three, bullseye! Brayden Smith. Jones drives hard! Ryan dribbling from Hall, and it's rescued by Kaufman Wren. First turnover of the day for Michigan State, and it leads to a whistle in Purdue having the ball. Hogard the arm into Jones, who stood his ground. Who started this game over one and a turnover? Jones inside, kick it. Lawyer, one dribble, pull up, pure. Nice job by Lance Jones maintaining the bounce. Brown and Edie misses. Tapped around, tracked down by Morton. Jones open three. He buries it. It's gonna be the game. Yep. I mean that, that is gonna be the game. So Edie to the bench. It's Kaufman Ren and Gillis in there in the front court. Smith leave it behind Gillis. Gary gets to it. No numbers and Jones takes it right back. That's an incredible hustle play right there by Lance Jones. He's just hanging out. Purdue's gonna have to be good on the back side. Over got a good look, but couldn't make it. They have given Ilver that three a couple of times. Breakneck speed. Oh, wow. Jones, my goodness. Jones in the open floor has been just hunting his offense. He's already got eight points. Ilver goes vertical. Jones takes the bump. That's big time concentration. You're Greg Bard. You got, you know, yeah, I I definitely just saying something about that. That burns down. Yeah, he's... Jones for three. That might be it. Throwing out early comparisons to Jaron Jackson when he got here. That's hard to live up to. Great point. Oh, what a shot from Lance Jones from deep. He's first personal. Well, you see uh, Tyson Walker trying to read the play, and he got caught. Mason Gillis hits Walker. Tom Izzo loved the way that they competed in that game and wants to see a similar effort. Well, you're seeing some effort right now. A couple of tips away. Jones on the drive. Right at Kohler. Count the bucket and the foul. And Jones comes downhill. Jackson Kohler is trying to be a deterrent. Ends up on his back. And Lance ends up at the free throw line with an old school three-point play opportunity. Really good concentration at the rim. 8-4 Purdue. Lance Jones, he can get it going. He's got it from Southern Illinois, now closing in on 2,000 career points. And he gives him a different look. Great speed, 
plays well when he gets in there. They hurt him during the year, too, when he was injured. Ethan Morton in. The jumper is silky smooth for Lance Jones. Here's Jones. Second wave of defense. Switch back with Hepburn. Jones hangs and hits. Another tough shot right there. Great defense by Hepburn, but Jones not to be denied.